we're back with another video, guys. Um, so today I want to tell you guys how I started my agency in 2023 and basically everything that I've done to get to the, to the point that I'm at so far. Yeah, so everything pretty much started off as just uh, an idea in my head. I tried the things that everybody else tried. I tried uh, like drop shipping. I had a little bit of success, but uh, I never really could make a profit off of what I was selling. I tested different products and ran ads and basically I could never find a find a winning product. So funnily enough, after that, I went into so I knew a little bit about like watches and stuff like that. So I actually took a course and learned how to start trading these watches and actually trying to build cash off of that. And that failed quickly. So where did I end up? I ended up where the majority of other people end up, which is SMMA. There's so many um, different paths that you can go within this and when you're creating your agency. And so basically what I did was I started this off um, and I, I picked a niche that I, I figured was good for me because I had a little bit of familiarity with it just because it kind of had to do with like my nine to five job, but nothing that I was really interested in. I just chose that niche because I was pretty familiar with like the term terminology and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty much I went and cold DM thousands of business owners as well I was, I was just picking up the phone cold, cold calling people offering things that I didn't even know yet if I could provide or not I didn't have a VA I didn't have anything I didn't know how to deliver services um, all I knew was to, just to follow what I had seen from other videos and courses and stuff like that so yeah pretty much my main goal was just to get people to respond to me at first so um I remember I actually got one dude and I got him on my first booked appointment within like a month or within like a couple of weeks. And basically I hopped on. I was so nervous to hop on the call. Like, I know you guys are nervous to pick up the phone, but it's literally not as bad. Once you start doing it, like it, it's it becomes easy. You just have to build step by step. It starts from you nervous to do your first call and first outreach to you're comfortable with doing these calls and you're just nervous to provide services once you get these clients. So it's all a process in this game. So pretty much I hopped on the call with him. I had my notebook out. I had my questions written down. I didn't even have a, I had a laptop that was uh, trash. It was like a, I don't even know how much it cost, but it was probably the worst laptop in, that anybody in the country has. So I was literally had my uh, questions written down in the notebook that I just was reading off and I was going back and forth with this dude and he was basically asking me what do I provide this and that and I was just I didn't know what I actually could provide but I had an idea so I basically was offering certain things I wanted to run ads for him and his company but little did I know that in that certain niche that I was actually targeting they don't make that much money so nobody's gonna run ads nobody's gonna see a profit when they're selling a low ticket item they weren't they were selling uh it was like a optical they were selling like glasses and stuff like that and you can't really scale like your company off of that so what i didn't know was that people some of the agency owners were in like certain specific niches like dentistry and like home remodeling real estate stuff like that where the, the companies are actually making a big profit so that's one uh, tip that i can tell you guys is that when you're going after the clients you want to go after the ones that have the most money which in another video i'll explain what type of clients uh actually have given me the best results and what i just what i've seen from my experience so but anyways to get back to the point um basically i was like i think my first call i i said we uh our prices are fifteen hundred dollars or something like that i didn't even offer a free trial or nothing literally i just hop a, on a call and i basically say yeah our services are fifteen hundred dollars pay me and the dude was like all right yeah let me think about it this and that and at that point i didn't know about like objections or anything so i was like yeah he, he he's like he'll have the money in like a month or two months maybe he's gonna think about it so i'm like all right i just let him get off the call he's like yeah I'll, I'll hit you back when i'm ready whatever and then i just found it hard to find 
uh, to set appointments for that specific niche. And I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like, I don't really even want to do this. So at that point in time, I got my first sales call and it kind of gave me confidence to like, I can really do this and set appointments. So then after that, uh, I ended up switching to like home remodeling. And that's when I started to find like companies that were actually making a lot of money. So pretty much um, I was doing the same thing, just sending, uh, blasting out a bunch of emails. And I did it through like a software where you can make a bunch of like Gmail accounts and you can send out like hundreds of emails per day without getting flagged. So I was basically just spamming to a list that I scraped and I found different ways to actually scrape these leads uh, pretty easy. So I had a big list and then I would just get on there and basically just blast the list with emails. I don't even know if like the copywriting was any good or not, but uh, yeah, I just was sending stuff out there. So I ended up in like my first month, I ended up getting, um, so at this point, I, yeah, I'm still and I'm working at my job and I'm coming home and I'm actually like blasting emails talking to them, coming home and like getting on calls and stuff. So I, I got this one one guy and I remember it was my first sales call for the home remodel. And basically this was the first time I came up with an offer and like I knew what we were going to offer and everything. It was just, I still didn't know how to deliver services at this point. So yeah, so then um, got him on a call and I basically offered him a free trial. He was making like, I think they were making a hundred thousand dollars per month something like that and he was like yeah like i'd love to to do the free trial and i was like oh this is crazy i was like this dude's literally gonna sign with me i don't know what i'm doing and so i was like is it this is how everybody's gonna be oh i can just sign everyone to a free trial which we'll get into that later which i don't recommend free trials but in times of desperate needs, uh, they can work if you use them right. So this dude's like, yeah, I'll hop on a free, tri uh, I'll do a free trial. Like, how do we get started? And basically I sent him like the spreadsheet of what, of what we needed to get started, to get access to his accounts, because we're pretty much, what I was doing was just running ads to get them more, um, just local legion ads to get them more business. So at that point, I'm like, how do I even deliver services and whatnot? And so at that point, that's when I went, so when you go to find your VAs, you can find them on Upwork. So I went on Upwork and I actually found a dude. It was like one of the first dudes I'd seen. And I'm like, something just told me to like, yeah, this is like the dude. So I was like, all right. I was like going back and forth to him. He's like, yeah, like I love to do this. I'm trying to build with you. Like I'm trying to join the team. I'm like, okay, I got him. And then that funny story, this dude ends up being like, like we, we still go back and forth every day like we're still working together to this day and like this dude's like super hella cool yeah but so um got him and i basically explained to him like what we needed what, what our offer was and that we're doing the free trial he's like yeah this is like easy work i've been doing this like he had been doing running ads for uh like solar companies and stuff like that for like a couple years and so yeah so then we did that and we were about to start so this is where the story gets crazy is we were about to start this and this dude just like backed out out of nowhere. His assistant was like a younger lady and she basically knew um, she was basically handling his social media and stuff like that. And she just said, hey, he doesn't want to go forward with the I was going I was emailing her and she was like, he doesn't want to move forward with the um, the offer, the services. And I'm like, it's a free trial. How can you not move forward? And then it just didn't add up. So then pretty much the dude just like ghosted and we lost him so at this point i'm like damn and i'm like i'm still getting better with my outreach methods and stuff like that and yeah so at this point is when i started figuring out how to actually talk on the phone when i was getting on these cold calls i knew what to say to get them intrigued and to want to book a call so it still takes hundreds of calls maybe hundreds of calls even to get people on these appointments i just want to let you guys know that it's not going to be something that you just pick up the phone and do 10 calls and you get appointments. Cause a lot of the time people will just pick up the phone. I don't want this. I don't want the services. No, I'm good. I'm good. So you actually have to, it's a numbers game. Like I said, so long story short, I ended up getting on a call with this one dude that owned a franchise in Texas. And he was like, yeah, like I'm, I'm very interested in this. This was probably like a month later when I finally got. So yeah, from that point to 
now was like a month and this guy was like yeah like i'm interested in stuff like that we own a franchise and i know i have a bunch of other um partners and stuff like that that would be interested in stuff if this is actually true and so basically i think i had two calls with him and we offer the offer was two thousand dollars per month plus the ad spend pretty much he's like yeah let's do it and this dude just sent two thousand dollars to uh my stripe and i was like bro this is it like blew my mind because i'm like i'm literally working a nine to five making the same amount of money and this dude just sent me that for the month and i'm like bro this model is like scalable like there's no limits to where you can go you just have to get better with time is what i always said in my mind like i know i'm gonna get better with time and so yeah i was like you can imagine how you are when you sign your first client uh even if you haven't at this point you know the feeling that you're going to have when you do the the type of work that you put in just to sign that first client. It was like, that's always going to be some of your toughest work that you put in. So when you do sign it, like you're going to appreciate it more. So long story short, yeah, he sent me the money and I was like, yeah, let's get started. So yeah, we got started with that and we're getting him results. Actually, we I think we got him three. This is the crazy thing. And it, it's it's a tough game out there because... We were literally getting this dude results. We got him, I think, three remodels, which was probably, I don't know, it could have been $100,000 in profit that he made. He spent literally two k for our retainer plus uh, $1,000. I, I think it was 1000 or 1500 one of the two. That's our minimum is what we would we would tell clients, either 1000 or 1500 as the minimum amount to spend for ads in order to get the best return. So he spent literally like maybe $3,500. And this dude brought back like, I don't know, 100,000 maybe, even more than that maybe. We don't know the actual uh, results because he started, this is where he starts to get flaky. And so we're coming to the end of the month. We're getting this dude's res this dude results, right? And I'm like, hey, yeah, are, are you looking to move forward for the next month? Or we're getting ready to come up on our... Uh, monthly date and he's like yeah i'll let you know and i'm like okay so i wait like a day and then i hit him up right away and he's like yeah uh, i don't think i'm gonna move forward and i'm like what uh we literally brought you results and he's like i didn't get the type of results that i expected and i'm like what what did you expect let me keep it keep this in mind he had no form of advertisement he wasn't running ads on social media his page was horrible so I'm like, how is this dude getting clients? He was only getting clients off of word of mouth. I'm like, we're actually putting you out there where people are coming to you and you're saying you didn't get the type of results you wanted. Plus you signed clients. I'm like, some people you just can't, you can't win with. You can't, you can't keep them happy. Some of these clients are just, they don't want to build their company as much as they say they do. They're just happy with where they're at. So Guys, when you're doing this and you're getting on these calls with these companies, you can't let them uh, frustrate you because they're they are going to get pissed off and they are going to try to like degrade your business or whatnot when they're not interested. And they're going to say that they're trying to build. They want to build all this money for the company. But at the end of the day, only a couple of them are going to take action and really want to do this. So the only type of clients that you're going to be able to help are the ones that actually want to work with you and actually respect you as a company and yeah they always get the best results at the end of the day and they're happy so a, a lot of these people just their egos get in the way and they're just too cocky about their business pretty much they think that they own the greatest company in the world so that's just a little lesson on how i got my first client and basically all that happened within a span of like maybe three months because i went from doing the first call which was in like another niche to my first client was probably two months down the road. So yeah, guys, I just want to let you know that um, there's a bunch of obstacles. The, the gurus that you guys watch videos of on YouTube and stuff like that, they're always going to show you like the success and the clients that they've actually had, the people that they've taught actually scaling from like zero to 10K in like two weeks or like a month. But realistically, it's just the you can't even think about just don't put a time frame on it, guys. Literally just work and build habits that help you that's going to help you book appointments. And actually, you want to focus on 
booking the appointments first and then you want to focus on the sales calls it's basically a process it doesn't just happen like this take it step by step you want to get good at every single thing and once you put it all together that's the process that you need to actually sign a client so that's the end of this video i know it ran uh pretty long but i just wanted to let you guys know that like that's how i got my first client in smma and basically from where i was at that point and what I know now is like night and day. It's a complete different story. So don't think that when you start, you're just going to know everything right away. It's going to take time to learn things. You got to make mistakes to actually learn from those mistakes. And you got to have success to realize what you need to do to be successful in the future. So that's the video for today, guys. Um, I'll be back on here soon to give you guys more value and if you want to learn more, you can just keep watching my videos and actually go follow my Instagram page, the Trent Harris on IG. So yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.